talk about traffic solutions because the city's most ambitious public transportation plan now has the green light. Yeah, Proposition A passing last night, also known as Project Connect, with about 58% of the vote. This morning, we are hearing from Capital Metro on what this means for the city. Nabil Ramana has that live interview. Good morning, Nabil. Good morning. Yeah, Proposition A will include the city's first light rail system, a new bus route, or bus routes, excuse me, and create a downtown tunnel system. And here to talk about that, what that means for the city, Randy Clark, thanks for joining us here this morning. I want to get right into this. I mean, wh what are we going to see in Austin? This is a monumental move here. Yeah, it's, and thanks for having me this morning. Obviously, uh, late night and early morning for most people. Um, but, you know, it's what we would call a transformational plan, and it truly is a transformational plan. A very large expansion of our bus system, including a lot of rapid buses, multiple rail lines, and an underground uh, subway system in the downtown area, let alone a lot of park and rides, neighborhood circulators. Uh, this is a transformational mobility kind of environmental equity plan for our city, and I'm really proud of uh, the team and really appreciative of the community having trust and confidence in us to uh, move this program forward. You know, we, we've seen the plans over the last few months, and what, when can we expect to actually see those plans go into place and work begin on this project? Yeah, well, I'm in a tie, and we're ready to go first thing this morning. You know, everything we do uh, every day is uh, we deliver bus service, so we're, we're back at it today. Uh, the program itself, we have a, a schedule that, we've, that the board and city council uh, actually approved as part of the contract with the voters in the summer. So, you know, we, we, that's our commitment. We have to deliver that program for, for this community and we're going to do everything we can to do that. So we have some projects already in the federal process and our Metro Rapid projects. We have a few of the red line project improvements already started design. So our goal is to work through that with the community in the design process and get kind of ideally get in the ground maybe as early as late next year on a couple first out projects. And then the big NEPA process for orange and blue line, we've been working on, but we'll really go in earnest starting in January because those are the two largest projects for the program. Now, there was opposition, obviously, to Proposition A here. And many people arguing that, you know, we don't need a property tax increase during the pandemic. But what kind of impact will that have on taxpayers? Yeah, and obviously, I don't get into the politics side of it. I'm, you know, I'm staff, and my, my job is to run the transit system and be technically lead on these items. I will just say this. Um, we, we understand regardless of someone supported Prop A or did not, you know, supported Prop A or did not support Prop A, uh, we own that responsibility to deliver this program. It's a community program, it's a community asset, and we own that responsibility to deliver a program for all of Austin, whether again you support it or not, and, and we're gonna do that in a transparent, cost-effective and community-centric way. And, and we're gonna start today doing that. And anyone that has uh, was involved in the opposition, we, you know, we welcome to talk to them and try to get more people involved in the process. At the end of the day, it is the community's uh, program and we want as many voices at the, tape, at the table. Perfect, well, thank you for joining us here this morning. With that, we'll send things back to you guys in the studio. Nabil, thank you so much for that.